us about Focus 7, your seven-step model, what it's about and why it's important. So as, as we began to think about this, this process of discipline growth, what we felt was that there was a lot of writing and a lot of thinking around strategy and big picture ideas and what focus looks like. But we wanted to really give an actionable step-by-step -step roadmap on act how do you actually make discipline growth happen. Mm. So focus seven, the reason it's called focus seven is that there are seven steps in the, in the framework. We go all the way from you know, understanding how to discover where the opportunities are to then focusing in on the areas that you want to play and bet on, so that's the strategy piece. Then uh, articulating that message and that vision and a rallying cry for the, for the organization because that's another piece that gets lost. Sometimes strategy doesn't get translated to the troops. Mm -hmm. And then the steps in execution. How do you align the organization? How do you sort of uh, simplify uh, decision making and execution? And how do you measure progress? So we go all the way from vision and strategy to sort of implementation execution. Uh, so it's meant to be a sort of comprehensive roadmap that covers all of the steps that a business leader would need to, to go through with a real emphasis on how to make things happen. So our sort of differentiation in the book, what we really believe the contribution is, it's really the tactics. Mm -hmm. Everything from strategy to tactic, tactics and people and organization and metrics. So really how do you actually make uh, these, these things, uh, discipline growth happen.